What's up, everybody? Um, welcome back to what we're going to call the Salty Chef, um, because we chose Chef as um, our starting class. And I am, in fact, uh, a chef or cook. Honestly, I don't call myself a chef because I don't have the paperwork. Uh, I'm a cook in real life. Um, all right, we're back right where we started, uh, or right where we kind of uh, ended our forward journey. Um, I spent a little bit of time leveling up because I don't want this to be a crapshoot where I just die over and over and over again. Um, so I'm up to level 10 now. I haven't gotten any new items. I haven't progressed past this point. But last time we talked to this guy, um, it's easy to claim something until you can actually back your claims up. You're just a rumor mongerer. And I'm pretty sure that's all he says. So. What we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and make it to the next boss. Black Pearl. Awesome. That's going to allow us to put a stat in something. Woodsman's Axe, Cotton Trousers, and something else. That's going to allow us to put a stat in something um, without actually having to level up. So let's see. Yeah, Woodsman's Axe. Axes and maces are what I'm kind of going for here um so a little bit heavier but does can double the damage so we're gonna equip this although pretty soon we should be getting a mace that i want to use now yeah that tells us that we can drop down we already knew that um pitchfork and patch of salt so i'll show you guys a pitchfork i'm not really going to no i don't want to all right, so uh, pitchfork there. So these are the attacks of the pitchfork. Um, combo looks pretty awesome. Um, I'll try and kill somebody with it just to kind of show you. Uh, but bandits pass, and we have come to another sanctuary. This uh, is apparently a sanctuary that we cannot claim as our own. This is another deity, and I have forgotten the name of this deity, but... We can level up here, we can do the tree of skill, and we can take the oath. Uh, I don't know what the oath does. Word on the street is it um, causes you to like sin, uh, but I have no idea what bearing that has on the game or your character. Hello, traveler. You're a stranger to Devara. Okay, Devara. This is Devara. Um, Devara's temple, uh, or sanctuary. Uh, a stranger to Devara's light, are you not? Yes. We are pilgrims of the goddess Devara, illuminator of all. Without light there is nothing, it is said. In darkness chaos dwells, and in chaos there is no hope. Every night the sun sets, we see her light flicker in candles and torches. But the dawn of the next day is her blessing. Chaos quelled, order is restored. Uh, okay, cool. I, I, I really, I'm, I'm sorry, I really don't care about your dialogue. I want to take your stuff, though. Stolen cell sword. Cool. Um, okay, if I remember correctly, if we go forward, we're going to get fucked. Like, pretty hard. So, also, the next boss is not that direction. So, we're going to come up here and get Bell of Return. And we can come up here, but we can't use these things yet. And can't get up there yet, so I want to fall right here. There's my fucking mace. There's my mace that I want to use. Okay, we're gonna we're just we're just gonna go ahead and swap that out. Yeah, so what base attack or what 10.6 or 6 whatever I don't know this is better base attack 8 so class is 0 hammer um, again hence the name uh, JD power hammer okay so this will be the weapon that we're using for a spell uh, and I'm pretty sure in this area we're gonna be uh, or in this hold on just real quick I want to check this out Yeah, see, they start getting screwed. I want that item there. 
Do, what, do I have to like kill them? Okay, no, I was going to say, do I have to kill them with magic? Jump! Here, jump here. Okay, no, I'm sorry, we're just, we're not even going down this route. I shouldn't have even gone that far. Apologies. Okay, so, do that to heal up. Um, now where we really need to go is right down here. And, oh wait, no, there's secrets. Yeah, so if you go up to random areas, like walls, and hit circle, you'll open up little secret areas. Uh, this one doesn't get us anywhere. But, we've got it opened up, so at least we know it exists. Okay, coming on down. Oh! Bat. More bats. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna light a torch, because I want to be able to see where we're going. Uh, arrow, self bow. Uh, so I'm assuming that's like, um... Like a bow and arrow. And this actually is back kind of where we started. So we're not even going to bother going back there right now. And wait, is there something here? Oh, yeah, this dude, this dude is down here. Um, so this guy is apparently like a, um, like a traveling salesman. And he also has like boss armor. Like when you kill bosses that you can buy from very uh, Dark Souls-esque. Um, trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. Buy. And so I can also buy Lock of Hair, which is uh, an upgrade material, or Endless Fang from him, which I'm pretty sure is also an upgrade material. Um, I can get bolts and flame bo bo bolts and torches and stained pages, which applies, what is it, uh, arcane damage to your stuff. Beggars set. I can also get the... Um, Doppelsaldner, or however the hell you say that set. Um, this is the um, word on the street. Is this is the set that the uh, uh, the Sodden Knight had, the first boss that we took out? But we're not. God bless. We're not really worried about that right now. I can't remember where this goes. Oh, okay. Nowhere right now. It just goes to a, a fucking ending. Oh, another secret. Nice. Alright, let's see what's down here real quick. Lightning bolt and a torch. I don't know if lightning bolt is like a spell or a prayer. Oh, uh, okay. So I remember I remember coming across this guy. And I cannot beat him yet. But you know what? There's an item right back here, and I want it. So we're just going to run past. Uh, stained Page and Stone Mage. Um, stone Mage is one of the things we can use to summon um, like the mage NPC into a sanctuary. Come on, get up there, dude. And Stained Page, if I remember correctly, applies holy damage to our weapons. Uh, more torches. Okay, now, right over here, that thing floating off on the left, is what essentially seems to be death. And, uh, damn it, so this is gonna be bad for me already. Sorry, I'm kind of used to playing my. Uh, I think I told you I've got a, I've got another character that I'm playing, um, so I'm not just like a blabbering idiot while I'm playing this. Um, and my other character can take out those a little easier. Okay, so we can go down, and we're going to go down, just not yet. We can get down right there. But we should 
unlock a shortcut. Calling horn and stone guide. Shortcut right here. Now we're back to our original sanctuary. Um, don't have enough to level up. Leveling up now is going to cost us 940. Um, so we're not worried about that yet. Or right now. So. Let's take out the bat. Or bats. And I know there's one somewhere around here. Right there. Alright, so this is this is the little secret area right here. Slide. Fucking bat, man. Chest. Wondrous chest. Uh, kismet stone and a bundle of salt. All right, let's check out the kismet stone. That's gonna be a ring. Um, increases your item find rate. I'm not really gonna bother reading the description. I'm sorry if you want me to leave comments and if I get enough, I'll, I'll read them. Um, but yeah, so we're definitely gonna equip that. Increases item discovery <clears throat> rate. I can't remember if there's another one or not. Alright, we're at the bottom. We're gonna open the door. <clears throat> okay, so Village of Smiles. And this is good because this is this this is where we need to be. Uh, the next boss is like the Queen of Smiles. Uh, and there's a tripwire right in front of me, right there. And over on our left there is two dogs and a knight looking thing. So, uh, oh. let's see. Granado? No. Potato. Potato. Alright. R1. I hit something. What did I hit? Oh, shit. Okay, alright. That's a come out. That's fine. That's what we wanted. So, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to carry this knight because they're not bad if you parry them. Shit, that thing's gonna be mad, never mind. Boom. We just got two parries in. Oh shit, I'm hitting the wrong fucking button. Hey, but that allowed me to get another fucking... <laughs> another fucking visceral or parry attack or whatever it is. Damn it. I just started hitting the wrong button because I'm a fucking idiot. <clears throat> Bella return. Bronze Knight Ashes. Okay, cool. I'm going to switch this to a shard, and I'm going to use one right now. Uh, again, dead bodies doing their dead body thing. Boom! See, this fucking, um, this mace is just far fucking superior to whatever I had before, fucking iron pot or something like that. It's fucking terrible. <clears throat> Alright, but this, oh, 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 there's, there's an area right here, right down below us, so if you drop and then as soon as you drop, kind of hold to the right, it'll bring you in here. Oh, shit! I did not know there was going to be a zombie right behind that thing. Um, and vine mesh, if I recall correctly, that is a shield that we can currently use. Um, Sega reduction 56%. Okay, cool. Let's take it. We'll take it right now. So we currently have a shield, although I don't really want this over here. I just want this to be, again, my mace. So I can do mace shield or mace. All right, but I want a two hand. One of them. Give me a sec, hold on. Okay. Now I've got it. I hit a wrong button and I accidentally used one of my red flasks. Okay, but so now I have shield, one hand mace, and then I've just got two hand mace. So, there we go. And we'll continue down. If I remember correctly, there's, yes, right to our left, there's a tripwire. 
And to our right is this automatic crossbow thing that we don't want to fuck with. Out pretty easily. This was a guy that was just shooting arrows at us right up there where we got that um, where we got that shield. <clears throat> uh, almost forgot about you. Wait, doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not gonna go down there yet. And what, okay, no, I guess I am going to go down there right now. Okay, so there's another knight right below us. You see him right there. Um, so same tactic. Perry, Steve, shit, Steve Perry, Steve Perry. Oh, nice. Conduit of mind. Okay, we look pretty safe right now. Let's check that out. Um, locks minimum stamina to one third of stamina. Bono Extreme Focus, it allows its wear to maintain spell casting a bit. Okay, I really don't care about that. Uh, and I actually don't want my stamina to be locked down like that. So, let's just continue through here. I honestly don't remember what all is through. Oh, apparently a bunch of fuck asses. Maybe that'll hit all three of them. Oh, well, that would have been nice. Fuck you, dude. Okay. Um. The watching woods. No, we do not want to go this way yet. But there's a trap right there. And it actually, if we can bait this guy towards us. <laughs> it worked. It'll trigger the trap. But see, now he's going to follow us, and I don't want that. Um, I just thought that was something cool to show you. The, uh, the enemies will also trigger the traps. Um, Village of Smiles. This is a thing up here. I don't know what. If any, Wait, what is this? Um. Curie. Oh wait, maybe this is the shield that I wanted. No. Okay. Curie. Blah, 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 blah. Let's find that wherever the hell it is. Oh. Okay. Here it is. It is a two-handed sword. A two-handed sword first carried by the Highland clans of Dor Isle, but now widely popular throughout the continents owing to its versatility and relative ease of use. Um, ooh. Yeah, so that would be, that would be a big jump in attack, 18 to 14. Um, but we don't, uh, we would need class one great swords to use that. Okay, so, not worried about that, like that right now. Let's smash the desk, get a little bit of gold. Um, I think, ooh, trap right there. Rolled through it. You can also jump over this. Um, <clears throat> okay, yes, this is where I wanted to end up. Blacksmith boots, blacksmith gloves, blacksmith aprons. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that here. This is one of our temples, our temples, and... Uh, this direction is actually where we need to go, but hold on, real quick, I want to see where this other path on the left went. Nowhere, right now. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up here. Uh, I don't know if I have enough stuff. This guy should be able to level up my things, uh, or upgrade, as they say. So I really want to upgrade my flanged mace. I do have a lock of hair. Awesome. I'm going to do that once. Um, can we do that again? 
we can do that again. Okay, so I'm gonna sacrifice all my locks of hair to do that. All right, I'm gonna see if we have enough to level up. We can also buy stuff from him. You know, like he's got swords, woodsman's axe, self bow, soldier spear. He's got some, got some shields. You know, I might. My other character, I have a shield. I might, I might end up. I don't know. I mean, I've got a shield. It's just not as good as the one he can uh, provide me right now. Okay, let's just uh, let's level up once. Should be once. Cool. Okay, uh, give me a second, let me regroup my thoughts, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're heading back out. We're heading up this way. Now, right between these two barrels, tripwire. And just to our right, we see a thing. Well, I just demolished it, but... Um... Um... It was a crossbow wired to that trip wire. Now, I just want to destroy the barrel. Fuck. We can talk to this guy. Or this thing. Whatever it is. Curiosity. What creature persists in the face of such suffocating despair? The others have begun to kneel. Will it join them? Uh, I'm assuming he's talking to me, and no, I am not going to join them. Such a brave, foolish curiosity. It will struggle then, and it will bleed, and it will fall. And one day, when it finds itself beaten and broken, gasping for air, choking on its own blood and tears, that will be the day that it kneels, and I will consume it. Well... Uh, that's very fucking creepy of you. Yep. Uh, cool. I'm glad you have more to add to that. Little kitty, do you have anything to add to that? No? Okay, cool. Um, another tripwire right here. Jump over. And dispatched. This is the area that we came to earlier. Remember, we dropped down to that area right below us. I don't want to do that right now. Little kitty, you're gonna have to go. Sorry. God, this fucking maze, man. So much more damage. Oh wait, so yeah, so we've already been here. I don't even need to go back through this. Except for... There's an item here. Did I... Bundle of salt. Did I go that way? I went that way. Did I... Maybe I just didn't pick up that bundle of salt. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I really don't care about the dog behind us right now. We are making our way to the next boss. And we have another death dealer thing up here. I don't know what they're actually called. But they fly, fly around in stereotypical ghosty pattern. Ooh, spoopy! Uh, okay, so here's something that keeps getting me tricked up. Um, tripwire. Big thing right there. Whew! Normally I just jump over it. I wanted to roll through it just to kind of show you guys what it does. Um, and you know what? There's another one in here that I tend to forget. So we're going to fight through these guys so I don't miss it. My stamina is also way fucking better. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to heal. Shit. Another tripwire right there, just so I can show you guys. Oh! Oh! That's why I normally jump over them. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna cut right back to here. Okay, I don't know what that flying thing was that we just encountered, and apparently one of those dumbasses rolled back and hit the thing, so I guess it gave us our echoes back, we're already up to 1160. 
safe that we were. Now we're up more. Sorry if this is dark. Let me let me light a torch. I like uh, I like the two hand, the maces. Okay, so we have another knight down here, the same as the other knights before. Um, our plan of attack will be parry, visceral, or whatever you want to call it, and then it opens us up for another heavy attack. And I got an image sent to the group. Oh, oh no, we got a ring there. Um, <clears throat> not conduit. We've already equipped Kismet. Uh, okay, this one, Faithful Ring. Increase your defense to arcane damage. I don't know what arcane things I'm going to be fighting, but we're going to do that right now. And this is also an area. And if I remember correctly, is this... Yeah. Fucking secret. Nice. Hold down. Light our torch. Wrapped link. Uh, oh, this is the one. This is the one that I want. Uh, increase rolling speed. So now we roll faster. And there's something right here too. Uh, stone cleric. Cool. I'm. I. I. I, I don't. I, I think the stone. Like I think the clerics are more for um, <clears throat> prayers and such, which I don't have any prayers that I can use right now. So actually, actually, just in case, I'm gonna smash this. It just give us gold, but yeah, okay, I just want to do that. Um, but stone clerics are a thing if you need them. Stone guide, I think I know what the guides do, although I haven't utilized them yet. Something just shot. Uh, blessed page. Blessed page is holy damage. Okay, so right down here is the boss. Oh, okay, so we have. We have five flasks. Oh, let's see if let's see if the shards will take us up any. Okay, they will. Give me a second, because we're getting ready to go into the next boss, and I'd really like to be able to defeat him on the first try. So <clears throat> let me regroup, and then we're gonna try and take out the next boss. All right, I actually uh, I had enough to level up, and so I came back and did that. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to show you that you can actually run through all of this back to the boss without killing anything and without complications, as long as you remember. Whoops! I actually got hit right there. Shit! Normally that doesn't happen. Um, as long as you remember to jump over the traps. And okay, I did get tagged a couple times. Let's use a couple red shards. I actually don't know how much they heal. Um, Blessed Page um, in the top left corner, R1's gonna use that. Um, that is going to apply holy damage, and this next boss is weak to holy damage. So we have that ready to fucking roll. And we have five red flasks. No, damn it, I don't wanna do that. We have five red flasks. Okay, boss. I'm, I'm really hoping I don't get fucked up really bad in this. The Queen of Smiles. And I'm gonna have to say, I think the artwork is fucking awesome on her. She has no lower jaw. And she'll combo like that when she does the... The close range attacks, so I try and like dodge out of the way. See? I also like that she seems to, t I mean, she telegraphs exactly where um, those blades are gonna go. Missed it magically. Nice. almost like you can knock her out uh, or stagger her out of uh, some of her attacks come on come on lady get back get back in the light I don't I don't want to fight you in the fucking corner that's just gonna be fucking bad news bears for me damn it I forgot about the third one okay 
heal. All right, I'm not I'm not doing too bad. I've only I've only beat her once before. Come on. Shit, I'm sorry guys. I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to let her bait me into a corner cuz that's just going to be bad for me. There we go. Oh, I thought I was going to make it. Obviously, I did not. Again, attacks are telling. Okay, okay, so she's reached her stage where after she does the sword, the spinny sword thing, then she does this, like, windmill attack towards you. Shit, I thought I was going to get out of that, too. And then windmill attack. Okay. All right. So I might not be making it this time, guys. Sorry. But in this stage, every time she does the, the spinny sword thing, then she will follow it up with a windmill attack. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use our last one. I don't know how that's gonna work out for us. I need- come on, get you back in the light, man. Dodge right through it. Alright, I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna drink a shard. Run right through. Nice. Dodge right through. Nice. Come on. Dodge right through. Oh, we got her. We fucking got her. Boom! Oh, yes! <laughs> fucking vanquished. Oh, man. I think it, okay, uh, the Queen of Smiles ear. Okay, we have her ear. I don't know what to do with that ear, but we fucking got it. Um, I think I said uh, last episode, I, I have I have another character. Like, I'm playing I'm playing through this, or like, I'm, I'm playing on the other character, and then I'm coming back and recording with this character, so it's not fucking boring for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that that still felt fucking awesome. And it's just, it's just the, uh, it's just the second boss. Um, I don't really remember what's past here. I remember there's something. Maybe it was just this. Going down such a long ways. Oh no, we there's a lady right here. Hoy, traveler, well met. Call me Fern. I've been hiding I've been hiding out here for some time. Seen any trinkets? I lost a small patch of earth. Oh wait, I actually I thought it was a lady. I guess it's a dude, they have a beard. Uh no I haven't, so I can't even select it. Shame. Uh, but I can't open this, and this leads us to another area, and if I remember correctly, there's, uh, this is like the woods area, the watcher woods or something, and so those guys jump around and shoot arrows, and there's some blob things that come and attack you. Uh, don't want anything to do with them right now, but I do want that, uh, war horn and bundle of salt. Yes, that's what I was trying to find. I remember what happens if we just keep going down. Maybe it's a big motherfucker over here. Haymaker, bundle of salt. Yeah, big motherfucker. Look at that, dude. We're not we're not dealing with that right now, cause I don't even fucking know. Uh, I do want to see what haymaker is. I would imagine it would be a weapon. Haymaker. Yeah, a tool intended for mowing grass and harvesting crops. Class 1 Reaper. Okay, cool. Come on, I need my torch. So we can go down that, but there's actually, there's, there's, there's another level too. Uh, well, we can go up. Can we go up? No, that's not the ladder. Is this the ladder? This is the ladder. 
Okay, so we can go up here. Black Pearl, awesome. We can put something in without even leveling up. But And I think this is one of the areas that we came to earlier. Yeah, uh, the Witcher Woods or whatever. Is that what this is called? Oh, crap. Almost forgot about it. Or maybe it leads us to the Witcher Woods. I can't remember, but up this ladder should be um, that sanctuary that's not ours. Uh, so let's explore just a little bit more and then we're gonna call it quits. I think I said from the get-go we're gonna make this short digestible episodes. Open door. Oh, I don't think I've even been here. Blood flower charm. Okay, charms are things you can apply um, to your weapons. A metal charm painted red. Hold on, I just want to see the effect. Increases attack power. Yes. And see, now I have this charm. It's 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 literally hanging from my weapon. But if I switch, it's not because I actually don't have it hanging um, on that side. Oh, these jumps make me fear for my life okay let's see um ooh. oh there's something up there right or maybe not maybe it just looks like there's something up there okay so what's down here sorry just checking for secrets not look like I can go up there. Alright, I'm not I'm not gonna fall and die. Not with 3400 salt. So this is where we came from, right? Yeah yeah, because that's where we fought the uh that's where we fought the lady. <clears throat> the Queen of Smiles. Okay, um, I'm gonna get back to um, uh, that sanctuary of Devara or whatever it is. All right, sanctuary of Devara. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade my spear, or not spear, my mace again. No, okay. So I need uh, a soldier's poem to upgrade that. Um, and I need an endless fang to upgrade the shield I currently have. Now they do have, or this guy does have a shield that is far superior. So, and it's only 500 gold, so actually it, it, it weighs a lot. But, actually hold on, let me check. Okay, right now I am not going to buy that shield. It, 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 it is a superior shield, but it's also twice as heavy, and like fat rolling is a thing in this game. But right now, I think I'm rolling pretty good. So we're just going to... We're going to do some leveling up. I can do two levels. So, and let's see where we're, we're going to put those skills. Um, I do need some endurance because it increases my maximum equipment load, which will help with fat rolling, basically. Uh, so I could do I could do two points there and then one point there, and that actually put two points in endurance and another point in endurance. Um. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do that right now because I imagine this character is probably gonna end up wielding uh, or end up rocking some uh, some heavy armor. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And if it's a bad decision, it's a bad decision. I'll fucking work it out later. So we'll do two for class two heavy armor, <clears throat> and we'll do one for augmented endurance. Um, <clears throat> everybody, that's gonna be it this go around um 
I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I'm, I'm actually really having a lot of fun with uh, having another character I'm playing the game with first, and then I'm coming back and recording episodes for you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying that, considering last time I was doing Bloodborne completely fucking blind and didn't know what I was doing. Um, so, so far this has been great. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I'm gonna do fucking JD Power Hammer, and I'm gonna. Oh yeah, look how look how far I've come just since starting the fucking game as the chef. I can get f five light attacks in, and in the beginning I think I could get three. Um, so, and this 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 mace does a lot more damage. Um, anyway, I'm happy. I'm having a great time playing this right now. Um, Oy. Click my face at the top of the screen. That's going to subscribe you to the channel. Um, I'm going to put some videos off to the side. I, I can't remember. I think it's this side? This side. Um, click those. Uh, hopefully you like them. Um, hit that like button. Leave some stuff down in the comments. Uh, ask me some questions. I don't know. Have you played Salt and Sanctuary? How did you, how did you like it? Um, Alright guys. I'm out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you next time.